What's up boys and girls? Uh, welcome to my next instalment in my Danish Gambit series and uh, we're looking, we're still in the realm of the Danish Gambit fully accepted or the full Danish breakfast as I like to think about it. So today um, we're going to move on to one of Black's best responses to the Danish, to the, to the uh, fully accepted Danish Gambit and uh, what you should know as a Danish player, if you're going to be a proper Danish Viking warrior, uh, you need to know how to deal with the Schlechter defense. Okay, so I've got this open on the Lee Chess analysis board. I've also got it open on the chess.com one, but I just find the Lee Chess one easier to read. So, the Danish Gambit. We all know the uh, the drill right now. And well, for a pawn, they take, well, for another pawn, they take. We bring out our bishop. Just, we're not caring about pawns. Pawns, schmawns. Okay, so we've allowed black to capture from here one, two, three pawns, but then we've, re we've recaptured one. So we're two pawns down at this point, okay? Black is sans an e pawn, and we are missing one, two, three, b, c, and d. Okay, now we've looked at some stuff. We've looked at the knight comes out there, we've looked at d6, we've looked at the most common, the uh, Copenhagen with bishop to b4 check. And um, now we are in the world of Schlechter. So what is the Schlechter defense? I hear you ask. Well, it starts with d5. And you might think, hey, this looks a bit funky because it hasn't... Um, can I switch off the best? I'll switch off the fish. Um, I'll switch on the fish. I don't want it to show the best move arrow. There we go. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> so it's looking like black has just offered up a pawn because that is attacked no fewer than three times and defended only by her majesty. Now, yes, black is offering up a pawn. So you could call this actually a, a counter gambit because black is saying, here, take the pawn because what I want to do is I want to open up the board, right? Particularly, I want to open up this bishop, okay? And I don't mind if you take the pawn because I have plans of my own. Right? Black is here up two pawns, cannot afford to go too far behind in development. Okay, so this that's the, the thinking of it. So white captures the pawn, and then black's next move. Now, before that, if black does anything other than knight to f3, he's screwed. Okay, so let's say, for example, he plays uh, pawn to c6, and here you can see white wins 84% of the time. It's just all going peak tom. So what do we do? All together now. Bishop takes f7, check, right? The king only has two options. He can either move to here or he takes the bishop. If he takes the bishop, it's goodbye queen and good knight black, okay? If he spots that and moves to here, you've got bishop a3, check. And again, if he takes the bishop, he loses the queen, right? But he can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. You know, all he can do is really come, keep coming out into the board and that's not gonna end well either. So you're, you're okay. Basically, if black does anything other than this move, you're laughing, okay? Now, this is supposedly, I will show you the refutation, all right? It's kind of, this line is, is known as Oh, the refutation of the Danish Gambit. And you can imagine that at the intermediate level, a few black players are going to know this, right? But they've probably stopped at that point. They're probably thinking, I need to know how to refute the Danish, I need to know how to refute the Scotch, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, now I'll show you the, um, the refutation line, okay? And this has been played most often. It starts with bishop f7, takes f7, check, okay? And now um, it seems that now we, we have touched on this already in the, in the series, okay? Now, if the king captures the bishop, it looks as though black is losing the queen, but black doesn't lose the queen, okay? Because of the sneaky bishop b4 check, which comes with a discovery on the queen by the rook, okay? And now you don't want to block really with this or this, okay? You want to use your queen to block, then you trade the queen off for the bishop, and then the rook's gonna come over here. Now, from this point, 
there are actually, um, oops, okay. Um, there are a couple of approaches. And we are looking at that. Hang on, where's the, um, I did have this all lined up as an idea. But basically, we're not really suggesting this line, okay? Um, your opponents are, are more likely to know it. So hit from here, let's look at this. So 10,000 games, and this is, we'll switch on, you know, all the, all the thing. 10,000 times we've seen bishop takes f7 check, okay? Now, but a less popular move, but that scores better for white, if you see here on the, on the database, okay, is knight to c3. Okay, now, with knight to c3, this is trickier. And your opponent is very unlikely to be um, prepared for this, okay? So what's going to happen is knight will take, and then you recapture with a knight. Now, again, we're into our, our happy place, because there are lots of ways for black to bugger up the situation. The best move here is actually knight d7, which is kind of weird, right? And we'll look at that. But so this is what I'm recommending, okay? So instead of this bishop sack, trade the queens, blah, blah, blah. Now that's not terribly bad for, uh, for white, but it is viewed as kind of equalizing after all that, that series of, you know, losing, taking the queens off and going into an early ending, right? Um, so I'm suggesting this. Uh, black takes, we recapture. Now let's say um, black pushes a6, for example. It doesn't really matter which of these pawns he does, okay? You play knight f6 check. Okay, now this hasn't been seen in the database, but um, so they're in check, okay? Pawn takes, for example, right? What you do, you trade off the queens, and now what do you see on the board? Bingo! Happy days, right? Now let's evaluate. We've got one, two, three, let's count. Shoes and socks off, everybody. Um, five pawns against five pawns. We have two minor pieces, but after this, we're actually up. We're up an exchange. We've got two minor pieces, they've got three, but we've got both rooks, plus we're gonna be able to castle, and we should be all right there. So that's if, hang on. Okay, that's if A3. So what if they push this one? S exact same thing, there, there, there. Trade off the queens, yeah. King has to recapture, there's nothing to do, okay. And likewise, probably a more likely one, um, maybe is F. Six. Okay, this has been seen once, and again the move is knight takes, and here the king tried, to, so the king spotted that fork and tried to do this, but then when that happens, you can, um, oh, that's weird, because it was, uh, it's been seen with king f, oh, king f7, okay, king f7 was played, so let's have a look at this, queen h5 check, the knight's defended, right, g6 was played. So, you know, you can, you can just play basically tactically from here. This king is already disturbed. Black has no development whatsoever. You want to get your knight out. You want to cast to your king. And you want to go on to do very well, okay? So, basically, whatever this king does, even if, like, the king comes here, you've got ideas of, I think, that. And he can't, again, he, he can't capture the knight because of this, right? And he hasn't got this defense here. Why? Because he's in check. So you've won, basically, from there. So that is more or less all you need to know about the Schlechter defense. Let's just recap again. Um, full Danish, here we go, right? Black knows what he's doing. Black says, ah, I saw a video on this. I know how to refute the Danish gambit. And he plays this, and you say, thank you very much. And he plays this, and he says, go ahead, you know, bishop takes f7, you know? And you go, ah, no, actually, I'm going to do this. And he goes, ah, I shall have you, right? And then if he does anything apart from this, so, I mean, this is kind of funky and there's a, a weird old line. We'll go, we'll go through it, okay? Just so you've seen it, right? Knight f3. This is the kind of main line from this point, but it's just, it's weird. Look, we've got all kinds of tension going on. 
attack the pinned bishop, moves forward, takes, rook takes, and we play on from here. Now, we are actually down a minor piece, okay? We've got four pawns each, but black's pawns are horrible. Black has does have an extra bishop, but we have a safe king, so, you know, all bets are off. Let's play chess from that point. So, yeah, Schlechter, that's, this is what you have to remember, okay? Pawn comes out, you take it, knight goes there, and we say, no, thank you very much. I'm not going down that refutation route. I'm going to keep stuff on the board. I'm going to come and attack you. Be ready. And that's basically that's basically it. So that's one of Black's main defences. I think the, the other one is um, here and then this. Okay, so um, this is a Sorensen, and we will look at that one separately in another video. Okay, but that's it, guys. Uh, that's how to refute one of Black's refutations to the full Danish. Thanks for watching. See you later.